Hello, this is Dan the 75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 Way of Life. I am Kaiser Frederick the Wise, age 44. It is the year 1230, and we are trying to finish up this game as soon as possible, but Horse Lords are coming out, which will invalidate this save. So I've got to get through the last 223 years. A famous herald, well-versed in the diplomatic protocol, has arrived at your court. He is proposing his services to us, and our Chamberlain is saying that we can make good use of this man. Another mouth. Okay, I can always use more men. 40 gold. Expensive. Okay, so we're at war with Sweden. A holy war to take these two counties from them. I've done so many holy wars with them. Okay, it's 12.30. Like, I've totally... Totally uh, forgot to take another county. Let's see. Uh, who can we take it from? This is Thuringia. They're 101. 101.2. So we can take this place. From her. Um, revoke title. Yeah, it's not going to be good for my vassal's opinion, but I want that extra spot to fill out the last of the domain size. It is July 4th, so it's saving. It's on Iron Man mode. Middle Francia sent me a message. Yeah, I also have to deal with those idiots and separate the kingdom. He should not be a king. I never... I made him a vice royal. Uh, vice, vice Roy. I mean, several generations back. What does he want? Um, Barbara the Unchaste. <laughs> and she's also possessed, so... Yeah, you want to marry Amadeus Adelard. Okay, whatever. And she's not only unchaste, but she's... Uh, Heretic, so whatever, it's your problem. <laughs> During a visit to Heston, Duke Lutbert the Letcher and his entourage were accosted. Seems fair, Mayor Gottfried would pay for what was. Mayor Gottfried has to pay for a lot of this. <laughs> this keeps that. This is like the third time. I'll just pay for it. The guy's gonna hate my guts. It keeps giving me minus 25. You no longer contend to rest in your laurels. The problems facing your realm are legion, and clearly no one can fix them but you. Excellent. I gain the trait ambitious. As more and more people seek audience at court, you have come to realize that there is much to do when it comes to administration of the realm. You must work harder. Excellent. Gains diligent. Wow, he's turned into a super 23 diplomacy. It's awesome, awesome king. Yeah, I'm, and I'm teaching my son, but he's going to get... Hmm, I'm giving him good stuff. Roth isn't so good, but... Um, this underhanded rogue thing, like, that shit needs to stop. Um, Every time I educate somebody, I, I pass that educational level on. It's not very good. Frederick Adelard is the Karen Baron of Marburg. Okay, so she's left. What is this? No, I'm not going to support your plot. Okay, so we have two. Plus with the um, new castle town. We should get a lot more. It should be like 36, 37, 38 income. I'm not seeing any Swedes come this way. I take it they disbanded and they're all up here. I haven't seen a thing from them, though. If Eric is nowhere to have seen, you can always find him in the courtyard playing with his swords and practicing sword fighting with older men. Yeah, that's awesome. 60% um, chance for diligent, 40 for proud. He gains one marshal. Uh, okay. I thought it was diligent and proud. But he gained the brave trait. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I think he already had the brave trait. I don't know what's going on here. My kin, I would, you know what, if he wasn't slow, I would take him over his sister, but his sister is so awesome. My kinsman, Prince Folkhard, has requested to join the Knights Hospitaller in their struggle against the Infidel, even though this will forever disherit him. Go with my blessing. Yeah, do they, they don't have the, well, the uh, Crusade against the, the Cathars. I mean, I guess you have to have a Kathlar heresy going. There's no heretics. Uh, there are heretics around. They're always popping up. Satan influencing them. <laughs> Away from the true faith. Anyways, um, yeah, the, but their heretics are always popping up. But there's no... I mean, look at what happened with, with the first, second video. It may have happened in the very first video where uh, Charlemagne converted to be... Was it Lollard? And it's all Western Europe was just it was just crazy what happened. It was easy for me to do holy wars to take territory from them because of that. But then I suppose like if they're a heretic, they could probably do holy wars against Catholics, right? So she became a fortune builder. Who who is this? 
I don't know who you are. I keep getting these people in my court. They're like breeding. No, no, go in there. I could go in here and disband some. I, I see, like, I have a lot of pikemen. Some heavy infantry. I can go and disband them until I get enough size for the last 2,000. I just want 2,000. I know it will give me 2,100. It's 150 per retinue unit for heavy cavalry. So I have 1,950. But I just want to get over 2,000. The power's not going to go out. It just flash in here. Prison by Kyr. Let, let's say that. That's a little scary. Because it actually did. And it may have something to do with the air conditioners. <laughs> I don't know. It kicked the breaker the other day. Because it's hot here in Vancouver. We're having a heat wave right now. It is July 1st today, so... The hot hot months are here. July and August. The last half of June got pretty warm. But not like just the last week. It's just massively hot. Can't can't do anything without air conditioners. We've got four air... Um, Ford boat air conditioners in our place, and that's because we can't have a full-on air conditioner. We have a town Probably would have been about the same damn price, too. Yeah, it would be nice. Like, a, like if you actually have an actual home, you can have, like, central, like, one air conditioner, big one outside, and that just blows air all throughout here. But you can't. You can't even have ones that permanently stay there. You have to be temporary ones, so... Peasant Revolt. Lots of traitors. They are. Where are they? Siege of Jelling, and it's January 4th, 1231. I can't find out where the damn Peasant Uprising is until the save is done. And I have somebody to educate in my court, I don't know who. I don't know what, is my wife past childbearing age? I think she is. Like, I'm, I'm my 40s, so she must be in her 50s, 54. Designated region heir to the Barony of Wilhelmstadt. Well, it's not her title. Well, time is still going on. Um, yeah, where are these pagans? I'm sorry, um, you know what I mean, peasants. You know, they're at war with just like everybody in the game. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Where the hell are they? Down there. Let's just take this one and go after these Viking Schmudson. Prince Hakon of Denmark has joined the war. Agnes the Unfaithful Dead? I don't know who that... Oh, Princess Agnes the Unfaithful, my sister. Why does he want to kill his wife? Well, end plot. It's my sister, I need that. What? Uh, who is she married to? He's German, I don't, I'm not sure what the hell. My brother. Yeah, I'm not getting much... I mean, I have the... Alliance with Pex, the Duchy of Pex. Now, who is that I need to educate? Who are you, Frida Adler? Seventy-four percent. Got a fair bit of money. I wonder if we can't get another uh, Castle Town somewhere. Look through Goddington. Castletown. We should be able to get it. Um, oh, infrastructure level at least four, so does that mean this has to go up? We'll get that. And this is also ours. Keep uh, Castletown. We can get that right now. It was nice to get those. And out of money at the moment. I'd like to see more income. 36.68. We're in the green right now. We're in the red. I don't know why everything is so bloody high. Like, why did my monthly income shoot up, but then the monthly expenses shut up even more? Makes no sense to me. Okay, so this is taken. Let's deal with this army and ride south. Get these idiots. They've been... I don't know what it was. Attrition? Oh, they're being chased by some of my vassals. Should actually defeat them on their own. Just keep an eye on that. Okay, now it's high in the green. I think... Is that not... No? We're still being chased. It would be nice for that to be over with. Okay, 100%. That's done. 
Don't have to deal with that peasant revolt. Nice vassals are actually doing something. Okay, so the enemies are landing there. It's, there's the Swedish army, not much of them. They must be really, especially with the areas we've taken from them, their manpower must be really sh small. Wait for this save, July 4th. Destroy these guys and run back to Vassar Godland. Yeah, I would say after this one, maybe we'll go after Upland and then we can probably usurp Sweden. He collected a tithe. Let's finish this. Hey, I ordered you down south. Finish it off. Okay, <laughs> another 200 gold from the Pope as well. That's being worked on. Castle Town, 403, we'll do that. Marburg, it's ours now. Baronia Marburg. Oh, did they disappear? No, the sea red. Popo. He's a guy that just did the peasant revolt, so get rid of him. Ingefried. Just release her. Ingefried. Go up there, there's the Swedish army joined with their allies. A lot of things being worked on. It's like half of all our holdings. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, four out of, or five out of nine, I mean. Prince Eric of Germania is now of legal age. He became a great eminence. Okay. Wow, really? Though I trained him. Okay, so he's gotten better than I have at that for his education. Even though he's slow. I definitely do not want him as a king. Now, let's see. Ah, why is it not there? Order to take the vows. You can order... Must... Either be a prisoner or not an heir to any titles. Okay, well, he's not an heir to any... T t oh, wait. No. No, no. Um, in prison. I uh, can afford to lose... Using this options view as tyrannical will lower all your subjects' opinion of you by 40. Okay, so... Can I choose... Can I get a... a wait. Date one, Germania. Date. Okay, you know what? It's gonna piss off a lot of people and give me factions like it was like when you first started but yeah gonna have to I'm gonna have to imprison him he needs to take the vows oh his sister is absolutely awesome yeah this is gonna suck because on top of that minus 40 we just did a minus 20 so we're gonna be minus 60 plus if I have a female heir it's minus another minus 10 so we're looking at minus 70 we're gonna have mass factions and it's been pretty quiet in the last 10 years. I mean, if it comes to it all, let's just have a civil war. I'll, I'm totally down with that. I've got a good retinue to lead the charge. Good leaders. Um, okay, in prison. This, in this way, yeah, his fate is to take the vows. Join the Teutonic Order in the defense of the Catholic faith. He will be released from prison. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly do feel bad. Yeah, you can say it's just a game. I don't care. It's a game that... <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. It just bothers me to do that to my son. Okay, send him a gift. He likes me somewhat. Uh, sorry, boy. But you take the vows. He's still... Is he not? Nephew, okay. My daughter is going to inherit. Promise to marriage. Okay, so well, she, we've given her that. Yeah, she's going to be the Kaiserin. Oh, whoa, Hesso is 25 for leadership. Okay, so we have 25, 20, and 19. I'm not sure what happened to this guy. He's heavy infantry leader, so we'll put main gold on the flank. Yeah, Marion will be... Marion Hawk will be the new... <laughs> The new Kaiser. I'm watching my Dragon Age 2 videos with my wife. She she likes my Let's Roleplay videos. The ones where they all they all like the people you talk to actually talk back, so I don't have to read everything. Lower Crown Authority and Pomerania. Yep, they're gonna be popping up like flies now. Um, we need to get on top of the worst ones. This is one guy. Yeah, of course. The Lecher of Bavaria, so obviously it's I made him who he is. He's 32. Yeah, he was a little boy 
Duchy of Bavaria, County of Oberbin. I don't know why they give up their freaking duchies. Or, um, counties. They do that a lot. And... Send gift. 60 for 60. I don't think we're ever going to make this dude happy. No, I, I really don't think what we can. Let's see. 131 possible plot power. Yeah. Anyhow, that's one guy. Um, okay, I don't want that. I want to see where she is. Okay, she's there. My spy master can still persuade him to get out. And I could actually get caught um, with my murder plot, so that's not going to make people like me more. But, uh, is he family? Because I, I don't want the Kinslayer trade again. Yes. But he's not close family. I don't think it matters as long as they're in your house. So that's a little bit dangerous what I'm doing. There's no way to actually bribe them not to. You can just make them happier. So they'll decide not to be in a faction. But he's he was powerful at one time. He had like about 20% of my... 20, 30% on his own of my overall power. When I originally gave him like four counties and the duchy. Yeah, I don't I really don't know why they do that. Why did they give up duchy, uh, counties? It makes no sense to me. Because you can't tell me that a guy with like... And this is with my brother. I gave him like whole bunch of counties. He has County of Pass, County of Duchy of Pass, and Duchy. He's got two duchies, but I gave him four counties. He gave them up. He has nine stewardships, so you cannot tell me that he had to give them up because he had too many. That doesn't make any sense. It's just... It just won't happen. 36%. You know what we need? We need a holy war declared on us. We have no neighbors that could do anything like that, though. Unless Lombardy turns heretic. That'd be awesome. No, we have no way, no way to do that. Um, we've Catholicized Poland, Catholicized this area down here. Working on Catholicizing this area. Catholicize all of this. And you don't get uh, opinion boost when you declare holy war on somebody, just if you're if you're under attack, like an invasion. I guess the only thing I have that would do that, I think is a venture threat. I'm not sure. There's, I think that there's different kinds. Like, isn't there host wars? And then there's uh, invasion, like planned invasion. Sweden's done one or two of those invasions to me. It really helps the opinion at home. There's never been a shortage of troops. Or host wars might have been before Way of Life and Charlemagne. I dealt with a lot of those in um, the other DLC I had going. Um, what's going on here? Tooting faction. You know, I knew they'd be popping up. I just have to ride the storm. I don't know how long the tyrannical thing's going to last. Ingotrude Adelard has been imprisoned by Frederick the Just. Yeah, Sons of Abraham is the DLC I was thinking about. This is a lot of fenders here, no, long, no wonder it's taking a long time. That's a big Viking in, uh, raid. Okay, so I think this is my daughter can marry him. What do you turn into? Brilliant strategist, not bad. So he's 14 diplomacy, 21 martial. He's a genius himself. Not bad. Everything's eight and above. Yes, matrilineal. Yes, yes. Although I'm not going to give you any anything. I don't think she will ask for a title. If anything, like he may ask, but I, I kind of doubt it. You have an awesome son. Leave the one of your vassals can be discouraged. Blackmail the vassal. So a Christian name. Okay, to comply. Can we move our guys? Yes, we can. So, I think we should make a go at this guy. Even though I have... Um, trying to get him assassinated. Down there. The spy master himself could, like, you know, blackmail him out of the faction. Great Holy War for Kiva fails. Good. I want the Mongols to take over. 
Uh, it's weird because it's Tengri versus Old Tengri, so... <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the heck is with that. And they're growing. They are growing. So They're more powerful than any of their neighbors size-wise, but that doesn't... I think that they're at war with them, too. Oh, no. They're not at war at all. Is that peace? Probably because he just fended off the, the damn holy war against them. And Poland is looking mighty tiny to me. That's like the traditional Poland before... Um, for the First World War. Where's my Kaiser Frederick the Wise? Where it was like surrounded by... Germany was up here and Germany was down here and then it was all Russia around to the east uh, <laughs> of it. Yeah. I mean, uh, modern Poland is all this and this and this, I think. And maybe down here. I don't know about this. This could be Czech. Well, all I know is it's larger than this today. Larger than before the Second World War. Okay, so I'm going to end the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.